Okay guys, so I thought I would make a quick little tutorial on how to put the objects into a table view. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start off by going to the main storyboard and then deleting this and creating a table view controller. Um, we're going to go ahead and customize the cell too. So, let's change the size of this really fast. And we're going to add a table view controller file and a table view controller, or a table view cell file. There we go. And create. And then next, we want to create the cell file. Alright, and here we want to go ahead and create a outlet, so let's go at IB action, at ah, not action, IB outlet, var, um, name, label, to be of type UI, label, and and then we're going to go ahead and duplicate this uh, and then we're going to call this the sub-label already and here let's let's go ahead and copy this function right here from the view controller and then paste it in this new table view controller and then we're going to make make a couple of arrays so var people to equal that and then we're going to duplicate this a couple of times for age and race. And, oh yeah, we want to go ahead and import realm up here. So for sections, number of sections, we're going to just say 1, and for number of rows, we're going to say people dot count. Right here now, we're going to say people dot append, and then we're going to say person dot name. and then we're going to duplicate that and then we're going to change this to race and then we're going to say race right here and then we're going to change this one to age Oops. and that as well We can't add that because it's a number, so we have to make the number a string before we can add it to the list. Alrighty, I think we're good there. And then we're going to say 
reload or table view. There we go. Dot reload data. And then we're going to put this in the view did load up here. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and start this. Alright, so for this, we are going to say, we're just going to copy this. I'm going to call mine reusable, or reuse identifier, and that's what this cell is going to be called. Paste, enter, and then you want to click on this up here. And then go table view cell and let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Oh gosh. And then let's add the two labels to it. One. down here or actually on the triangle and, uh, click on the label again and then the triangle and then we're going to click on add missing constraints for the whole view or for the whole cell and now we connect it to this this will be the name cell this will be the sub-label, which will hold both the race and the age. And I think we'll swap to, yeah. Go here and then call this table view controller. And Back in the table view controller, we are going to say right here, uh, let cell be of type um, table view. Come on, so there we go. And then we're going to copy that and say as table view cell. So now cell dot name label there we go dot text equals actually we could just say people dot name or well, the um no at index path dot row we can take that and then copy it or paste it and then we can say sub label dot text equals And we can say race comma outside of the parentheses and then ages. Nice. 
think that is it. We're going to go ahead and try it out. Oh, I know what it is. Um, so, we have to go to the main storyboard. Yeah, I forgot to assign this the initial view controller. Alright, so we're going to rerun that. And there you have it. Alright. Okay. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry if this video was too fast for you. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this video. And um, stay trappy.